Evening guys, that's my uh, the full bridge that I mentioned in the last video. Uh, I said I'd get around to showing you. Um, uh, thanks to Nick, um, who really helped me with this, and he actually took the design off his circuit layout. Um, it's got a steel board driver around the other side. It's the same setup as the IGBT uh, coil. Um, just this one's got a tappable primary, but the box, uh, I've moved the switch. I keep tinkering around, changing stuff, trying to improve them. The gate drive to capacitance looks a bit messy, but it just allows me to keep changing it down here. These just slide out. Uh, interrupter, which I won't need to use for the moment. Um, and the driver circuit and a rather ridiculous antenna. Um, it's all kind of in development mode and test mode, so it's a bit messy, but there's the coil. It's a big 36 gauge coil. I try to stand up to make it a better view. It's really hard. I can't actually step back any further to get a real... Can I just fit that in? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto the floor and set it up as an ion spinner just for a giggle. I've got the uh, Variac next to me. And uh, give me two seconds, and I'll set that up. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, right, we're all set. I've got the little spinner on top. And if I switch the lights off, I've got the Variac. And we're off. Switch on. Let's get rid of this light. And perhaps this one. Okay. Hold tight. I'll only take it out, that's 41 volts. I'll only take it to about 120. That's 58. That's 70. That's 80. That's 90. That's 110. How pretty is that? <laughs> it has spun off and hit me a few times. It will turn, it will actually turn with very little, you only have to put a tiny amount in. There you go, that's, that's 23 volts. <laughs> that's one thing. Alright guys, a bit of fun. Take care, I'll see you soon. Cheers.